Today I'm going to show you how to embed a survey question in an email. Embedding a survey question is different than putting a link to a survey in an email because embedding the question allows the customer to see and answer the question right in the email itself. Here's an example. Here's an email that could potentially be sent to a customer from the fictional company called Company Company asking the customer to please rate their experience. And by clicking on uh, their rating, let's say it was a four, you will go directly to SurveyTown. SurveyTown will record that response and then show the customer a thank you message. So the, the survey question is one step closer to the respondent and that increases your response rates. Now, uh, embedding a survey question in an email is an easy process of copying and pasting and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first step in creating a question that you can embed into an email is to create the survey that has the question that you want to embed in the email. So here I am at the SurveyTown dashboard and I will create a new survey uh, called Please Rate Your Experience. And to it, I will add the question that we want to embed. Um, before I do though, I want to say there's four different types of questions that you can embed into an email. There's the ratings question, uh, a radio buttons question, a picture choose one question, and the net promoter score can all uh, be embedded into an email. For purposes of this demonstration, we are going to use the ratings question. So I choose the ratings question and I say, please rate your experience. And I'm gonna say uh, the shape will be stars and they'll be on a scale from one to five. Great. Now we have our question that we're going to want to embed in the email. Just to give the full flavor of the experience, I'm also going to uh, customize the success message when it's complete so we can see how it's all working together. So I'm gonna write in here, thank you. And I'll choose something recognizable as uh, the font here. And we'll make it nice and large. And then we'll save it. Now, uh, once we've gotten to this stage, all we have to do is take this, this is the one from the demo, this is the one that we just created. Please rate your experience. We're gonna activate this one and we will be ready to embed this question. So here's the survey that we just created that has the question that we want to embed in the email. So all we need to do from here is to click on the survey itself and then go to the Promote tab. And inside the Promote tab, you'll see a tab for questions. And in this questions tab is where you will find the HTML that you can copy and paste into your email campaign to embed the question in the email. It's, it's as simple as that. We do have a couple of options here for you as well. If you wanted to um, do, instead of black text on a transparent background, if you want to do white text on a black background, you could do that and this would change the art and it also changes the HTML down here for you to embed. Or if you just wanted to have the raw links and you add your own styled elements, you could do that too. This turns off all the styling here and allows you to uh, put whatever artwork you want around the question choices. Uh, I do wanna also talk about this completed survey button. If, if you choose to complete the survey, which w then what will happen is when people uh, click on this uh, link, it will automatically submit the survey and it will show the success page uh, that you have defined for the survey. Or if you have, instead of defined a success page, a success URL, it'll go to the success URL. Um, if you do not have it completed, the, what the experience will be is the user will click on whatever, however they rate their experience. And instead of completing the survey, it will come to the survey page with their choice pre-selected and then they'll, they'll hit an additional button to submit their final choice. So it kind of allows you to sort of look over your choice, it allows the user, the customer, the respondent to look over their choice. And it would also allow, if there were additional questions on this survey, it would allow them to come to the survey with their choice pre-selected and then answer additional questions. Okay, now we are ready to take the HTML for the question that we want to embed in the email and then transfer it over into our email service provider and to put it into an email campaign. Um, most email service providers allow you the ability to add in your own custom HTML. And so what you simply do is put this HTML right in there. 
For example, um, campaigner here, um, you, you can add your own HTML by going down to this HTML button. And I copied and pasted the uh, copy and pasted the HTML uh, straight from, from here on SurveyTown right into Campaigner. Uh, another example is MailChimp. You can use uh, this little uh, code icon here to drop in your code. So I'll go over here. I'll copy this code right here. And I'll put it right here inside of MailChimp. And my survey will show up. But for the rest of this demo, uh, we're going to go and we're going to use uh, Bronto. And we'll go through the whole process with Bronto so you can see how the email is sent. And you can see that uh, you can click on the questions right in the email itself. So this is our uh, Bronto dashboard. I'm going to go here. I'm going to look at all my messages. I'm going to create a new message. And it'll be an email campaign. We're going to say, we we'll call it rate, rate your experience campaign. And you can choose an email message editor or the HTML code editor. Then we take uh, the HTML icon here, we drag it into our message, and we get a nice dialog box here where we can copy and paste the code from SurveyTown, and our survey question shows up. And we take the spacer, we'll add a little space on the top, we'll add a little space on the bottom. We can even add an image at the top. We'll go grab the image that I uploaded previously from the content area. Here's company, company. We'll make the width correct, just like we like it here. We'll center align it, and we are done. Now we'll save and close our campaign. Um, I forgot to, we'll say rate your experience here. So that's good. We'll send a test campaign from me. And this is where it would be your own company's email address. But for now, we'll just use mine, drew at surveytown.com. And then we'll select our recipients. This is our test Gmail address. I'll send it to Greg Gregson, 71. And we will have it delivered. Now, uh, I want to log into the email address that we sent the email to, to check out the email that we just sent through Bronto with our survey question embedded. I'm logged in here into Gmail, and I can see that I've received the email. It's called Rate Your Experience. It's got our company logo at the top, and it's got our survey question embedded, asking us to rate our experience on a scale from one to five. But before I click on anything, I want to go back into SurveyTown and take a look at the report. Um, so you can see right now that there are zero responses collected, started, or completed, and now we'll go back into the email campaign, and we will click, let's say our experience was a level four, and that sends the response directly into SurveyTown, gives us the success message that we programmed in, and we can see that we have collected one response, and it is a level four response. So that is how you embed a survey question in an email campaign.